to another maintenance vlog with Kat. I look a little crazy, y'all, but listen, I have had the most, let's just say full morning. Got up this morning and went and worked out at Burn Boot Camp. For those of y'all that don't know, I partnered with them for the last like couple of weeks to attend their camps and to work out with them. It was a pretty intense workout day, but I always feel like so accomplished when I get done and when I'm through it, I'm like, yay, that's behind me now. So after I got done with burn boot camp today, I totally realized that I scheduled my lash appointment a little too soon. So I finished burn boot camp at like 10 15. My lash appointment was at 11 15. I went home, I was scrambling to like get showered, get freshened up, get my clothes on. And y'all, as I was getting dressed, I'm looking like in the mirror at myself, I see something brown on my arm. I'm like, what the heck is that? I looked down and it was a tick. A whole tick sucking my blood and I was just screaming and that was a whole like 15 20 minute experience of me panicking after the fact so I was like girl you have a lash appointment so I'm being ready to get my lashes done I'm trying somebody new this week I'll talk a little bit more about it once I leave because it's like five minutes to my appointment and I need to get in there but I will see y'all in a hot second I'm back so this is what we're looking like this time I got this is considered like one of her volume sets I went to a girl called idolized by this which is who I wanted to go to for my very first set ever but she was booked up around the time I wanted to go and then I tried the other girl I found on I think I found her through like Facebook or something and that was a girl who like rushed me and was just like so unprofessional like on the phone the whole time eating was 30 minutes late calling me back for my appointment all that mess so i finally got to try the girl that i originally wanted to try and so far so so good but yeah y'all so when i was in there getting ready to pay tell me why my apple pay wasn't working and i was like so ashamed because i'm like oh my god this girl gonna think i ain't got no money to pay and i was like just give me a sec girl but for some reason like it wasn't accepting my credit card and i've used apple pay all the time to send and receive money from zarius but luckily i have a, well i keep a couple hundred dollars in cash on me anyway so i just pay her with that but now i need to go to the bank so i can get some more cash out because i always try to keep cash on me for moments like that like if a car reader is ever down or y'all know technology like it's so so great but it can be unreliable too sometimes so i'm so glad i had the cash on me because i would have been looking like uh oh my god but anyway yeah so i'm gonna go to the bank i think i'm gonna stop and give me a green juice i do like a I did like half of a juice cleanse on Monday, so I think I'm gonna stop by the same place today and get me another little green juice. And then I have my nail appointment at 2.45 and it's only like 12.45 right now. So I got two hours and what's crazy is that my nail place is literally like two blocks down the street from this lash place, which is great for me because like I'll continue to book them on the same day. But the only thing is like they're so far apart and like the times that I just have to like kill time while I'm like out in the city and it's raining. I mean, I would, I would go shopping or something, but I really am not trying to get in and out of the car and get my hair wet. I already like sweated it out at the gym. So I'm not trying to get it like any more wet than it was today. Where's the ATM? Yep, right here. <laughs> Gotta take a seatbelt off. Short people probs. Here I am, I've made it. I cannot, I cannot believe, oh my God. Oh my God. 
Why did it have to start raining on the day that I want to get out and be cute? Oh, do Hey. Oh, I could just buy one from over here. So I don't even have to wait. Do you want a bag for these? Oh, no, I'm good. All right, y'all, I'm back. So I just came to Target to sit in their parking lot because I already have to pee and I knew that if I drank one of these green juices then I would most definitely have to pee. Yeah, so I just wanted to come to Target so I could have like access to a restroom. I have like an hour and 15 minutes. No, I have like an hour. Yeah, I have about an hour and 15 minutes till my nail appointment. So that should be enough time to like sit here, chill, drink my green juice, go and Target to pee and then maybe pop into Ulta or maybe I'll just save Ulta for tomorrow. So I told you on Monday I bought like a full juice reset. But anyway, I ended up getting two today and I'm kind of glad that I did. So I got the leafy produce, which is kale, kale, celery, spinach, lemon, cucumber, and parsley. So this is not that tasty, it tastes like grass. And then this other one is sweet greens and it is apple, kale, spinach, lemon, cucumber, and parsley. So some of the same ingredients, the only difference is this one has celery and this one has apple. So I just bought this one just because, I don't know, I just was like, oh, there's, I don't know why. I just saw them and I'm like, okay, let me just get both. I don't know why. But I ended up having like a $12 reward on my account. And so this was like 15 bucks and then it ended up being like $2 and some change. So I was like, what? Like I love a good deal y'all. <laughs> I love a good deal. And I feel like I just kind of got blessed because I blessed that girl with the extra tip. So, cause I wasn't finna go to juice bar and those points I believe they expire. So it's not like I, I be out here all the time. I just happened to come out here Monday and get it, but it's probably gonna be a while before I make it back out here again. So my points probably would have expired. So it's just crazy. Like you bless other people and then you turn around and get blessed, you know? Fresh cut grass. Anyway, I'm gonna sit here, drink my green juice, probably talk to myself. Um, you ready for this nail appointment? Here is what my nails are currently looking like, just in case I um, end up scrambling and don't have time to show y'all before I go into my nail appointment at 2.45. This is what my nails look like. So this is about a month's worth of growth. But yeah, so that's that y'all, um, just sitting here and like talking so i will probably see y'all when i am either inside of target or at the meal salon put them by the flowers oh my god they look so cute that's the left hand and then here's the other hand so like the curved line like goes towards the left on my right hand and then on this hand it goes the other way i just love her attention to detail like she is the absolute best to do it period hey girl i'm back so i'm actually in the process of curling my hair right now. Um, well, I curled this half, like curled it and then rolled it up in some sponge rollers. Like this is like really like kicking it old school for real. The silk sponge roller, so let me be clear. And when I got ready to do this side, I was like, well, I could pop on the camera. Obviously like I'm in the middle of a maintenance vlog and this is me like doing my hair. After the disaster of like being out and my hair just getting like so, so frizzy, I just, needed to tame it 
um, but I'm just like bumping it a little bit and then like well really focusing on my roots getting those straight and then um, just adding a little curl to it and then rolling it up in and the little rollers, the curlers, whatever y'all call them. I'm finna finish this up with y'all on camera. I'm gonna speed it up because I need to turn my fan on because it's a little toasty up here in this room. But, um, yeah, girl, just sit back, relax, and enjoy. There we go. It's already starting off really really weird so the facial appointment i set is for 11 a.m all night i was just kind of like tossing and turning because anytime i have an appointment early i told y'all in my like last video well not necessarily even early but one that's early and or i don't really want to go to i toss and turn all night and then um when i finally did go to sleep i was having all these crazy dreams um zombie dreams just life or death type dreams just real crazy stuff so my alarm was scheduled to go off at 7 30 when it went off i just cut it off and i stayed in bed i slept a little bit more and then i got up right at around like 8 30. i went out walked sugar and then um i just came back in i brushed my teeth Ooh, the lash. i brushed my teeth and um I haven't done anything to my skin just yet because it was glowing so nicely on its own. I wanted y'all to see me looking like a delicious butter roll. Like, my skin looks so amazing right now. And this is like my favorite part of the day when I do like a really good skincare routine at night and I wake up and I just look so like glowy. I absolutely love it, love it, love it. Okay, so I'm getting ready to take the rollers out of my hair and style it for the day. It is like still kind of like rainy and wet out. So I'm kind of like, I kind of don't want to get out for that reason. But at the same time, I really want to go um, get this facial. I kind of just, when I was laying in bed this morning, I finally decided like, girl, like just go. Like treat yourself. So anyway, I've been taking my bonnet off. This bonnet is from my friend's line. She makes units, the most beautiful units I've ever seen in my life. I'm currently saving up my coins to get one. And I'm planning to get one, hopefully, if not towards the end of this month, next month. 
up because I really haven't been wearing wigs, but when I do, I'm wearing hers, period. Because the girl, her hands have been touched by God himself. But she sent me this bonnet and it has her brand on it, the Hair Life Official. But I love this bonnet because it's the first bonnet that doesn't come off me at night because you can tie it. And you don't even have to tie it in the front like I do. You can tie it up tight in the back, but I just love it. I was wearing this when I had my locks. Like it fit my big old locks. Like it's just amazing. And then she also sent me some other stuff too. I'm actually about to use her uh, her hot comb to do my edges. And so it goes up really high. I have it on 250. It goes all the way up to 500. But for my edges, I'm just gonna drop it back down. Now taking this off. I got this some cream of nature. You can't buy this. They gave me this when I went on the um, a little photo shoot trip with them. But I have some extra, so if anybody wants one, let me know. I don't mind sending y'all one. I'm gonna use the Cream of Nature, and no, it's not sponsored. <laughs> I, I'm just so happy to use, be using this product, but uh, this is their Heat Defense Smooth and Shine Polisher. Protects it against heat styling, smooths and eliminates fresh, frizz, and seals in exotic shine. So I actually put this on my hands and um, rubbed them together yesterday before I curl my hair which y'all saw on camera so it doesn't like weigh the hair down at all which i really like but you have to put don't put glops of it obviously like put a small little dom size amount rub it in and then rub it all over what is this on my nose is that like a patch of dry skin and if i need to like wash my face before i go to this appointment obviously i probably need to do my own skincare routine but we like just throw some water on to knock anything off so for now i'm just going to pull them out the curlers little ringlets <laughs> so cute oh my lips feel so dry hold on y'all i don't know why but sometimes after i brush my teeth my lips always feel so dry Okay, girl. <laughs> so just like the smallest amount. Boop. Boop. And it smells so good. And my mom has been telling me to use more like oil on my hair anyway. Because uh, I have like a lot of, I'm sure y'all can tell I have like a lot of flyways. It's like a lot of breakage. And I thought it was due to me like not always like properly wrapping my hair at night but she told me that it can sometimes be because my hair is dry so i've been trying to like oil my hair on my scalp i even had zarius oil my scalp too <laughs> yeah i feel like i need that comb because the comb is really gonna like i can really like comb it a certain way and you know get it going a certain way how i need it to be But I like it. I feel like it's pretty. It's like, it's not typical for today's standard of beauty, but I like it. I know some naturals, they never put heat on their hair. I was actually talking to one of my old classmates and I was like, yeah, girl, uh, I just straightened my hair, something, something, something. And uh, we were like talking on the phone or whatever. And I said something like that. Like, I just straightened my hair, just did my hair. And she was like, yeah, girl, I saw. Like being real to us, you know, I'm like, damn sis, cause she's like natural. <laughs> and she has, she has beautiful hair. She has beautiful hair, but she's not like me where she's like always straightening her hair. But this is just what I like. And now I'm just gonna smooth down my edges. Don't come from my brush. It needs to be washed, but I'm not gonna get up right now. Maybe I can try to wipe it with a wipe. You know what, forget it. But I typically do wash this out when it starts to get dried up, but at least it's not like caked with makeup too it's just all edge control but i'm actually testing my own which i have been testing edge controls um on and off since about october 2020 so i'm still trying to like just get the right formula but edge control is difficult like it's 
is real hard to do and i had to already kind of go into it with the mindset that it may not work for everybody and i'm not saying that just based on on hair type but some people sweat more than others so i know for me like sometimes certain edge controls while they work great they don't necessarily last if i'm sweating but sometimes people don't seem to understand that like my stuff is not invincible to your bullet and that was another reason I was kind of afraid to launch my brand because I'm like, dang, like it's always probably going to be that, that one, that one bad apple, you know, but that just kind of comes with it. You know, you have people who are going to be forever dissatisfied, unhappy. Some people thrive off of complaining about products. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some people be waiting for stuff to be messed up. The smallest thing so they can complain about it. Mm. So yeah, girl, now that I'm looking like Shirley Temple, <laughs> I'm about to um, look for this comb. I'm going to freshen up and then I guess get ready for my facial appointment. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. I just pulled up to the place. I am at the, um, what is it called? Eden Spa and Laser. So this is not the place I went to get my lip filler. I went to get my lip filler from Germantown Day Spa. But I saw on Instagram they do like those really cool looking pillow facials and um i really been wanting one and there are a few like people i consider but i didn't want to go into anyone's home and do it i've done the whole like facial thing whatever out of somebody's house and i just wanted a different experience this time not that i'm knocking it not that i won't ever uh go back to something like that but i just wanted the spa experience because i've never had a facial from an actual spa so i'm gonna get ready to get in here my appointment is in exactly 10 minutes so somewhat early but that gives me enough time to fill out any necessary paperwork um or like whatever they need me to do consent forms uh release forms all that oh yeah and then i ended up just pulling my hair up into this bun because i'm gonna be laying on the table i presume and you know That was such an amazing experience. I wanted to vlog more, but I really also wanted to just be in the moment. So when I get in the car, I'm gonna fix my hair, fix my lashes, and talk to y'all more about it. But life-changing experience for real. Oh my god, look at my skin! It was so glowy. I thought that I had some extra spoolies in my purse. I know she gave me some the other day. Yep. Okay, there we go. So let me like brush my lashes because they did get a little, a little squished. But I'm gonna head into Ulta. I was about to stop and get some lunch, some Chipotle because I haven't had it in like months. Oh my god! But I was passing Ulta and I was like, ooh, let me go in here because I threw two gift cards in my purse the day I wanted to get my nails done just in case I wanted to stop in Ulta on that day, but I didn't make it. So I got a $100 car and a $50 car. But yeah, so I'll see y'all inside. Don't you just love when you are like casually strolling into a, a store, a business, an establishment, and then a person like sees you getting out, head into the store. So they try to get out and try to race you into the store. Like girl, I will start walking real slow because I'm not finna race you. That's like sociopathic behavior. Like I'm gonna get in there when I get in there. Like calm down sis. This is so inspiring for me to see especially since I plan to launch my own brand. Like this is goals right here. 
so this sugar scrub right here i actually picked up the other day from walmart it's so good y'all oh my god and it smells like pancakes like maple syrup so good but i think i'm gonna pick up another one today i see a lot of people using this tree hut brand so i'm gonna grab one of these probably vanilla bean because i love anything my vlog camera died but i love anything that is vanilla scented so i'm gonna try out this one right here i picked this up the other night but i also picked this uh body buttercream up which smells really good it smells like vanilla so i think i'm gonna go ahead and get the body wash to go with it because this is almond and vanilla scented and then i think i'm gonna go ahead and get the body milk too just to go ahead and complete the set because i love having like stuff from all one line because then it really enhances like the scent of everything you know put that back not to mention everything is 30% off in this line so it's always really good too 